Manage Engine AD Manager Plus Active Directory Objects This video will give you a brief idea on Active Directory Objects. The different types of objects, their properties and permissions. Active Directory Objects are the individual components of a network or organization. Each object is an instance of an object class. That is, each object belongs to a certain object class. An object class is nothing but a grouping of attributes properties that describe an object. For example, an user will have a name, surname, department, phone number, etc. The set of attributes are different for each object, that is, the attributes of an user will be different from that of a computer or a group. Active Directory Schema Design specifies the types of objects that can be a part of the Active Directory and also their attributes. Object classes inherit the properties or attributes of the parent class, that is, a new class defined as a child of any object class by default inherits the attributes of the parent class. Object Types Container Object Object that contain other object like domains, organizational units OUs, users, computers, groups, leaf object, objects that cannot contain other objects. Example, users, computers, printers, etc. Security principle objects, objects that can be authenticated using an username and password, and can also assign permissions and authorizations. Pre-installed container objects. Objects that are installed by default during the Active Directory installation process. They contain objects which allow compatibility with lower versions of AD and are also used to give certain functionalities to the objects contained within the The different objects in an Active Directory. Forest Is the highest level of security boundary within an Active Directory and can contain one or more domains or domain trees or domain and domain trees. Domain Highest level of administrative boundary. Can contain one or more organizational units. Users. Groups. Computers. Contacts. Etc. Organizational unit OU. It is a container or administrative boundary within a domain. It organizes the domain's objects into groups for administrative purposes or as per the requirement. User is an individual person who is part of the organization or network. Computer Individual workstations or servers in a network. Printer Shared folder Shared across a network or organization domain. Group Consists of users and computers. Contact An individual who is related to the organization but not a part of the organization. For example, Supplier Customer etc. Types of pre-installed container objects. Domain controllers. Contains all the domain controllers in the entire AD. Computers. Individual workstations or computers in the AD. Users. All Windows NT users. Built-in. Built-in local groups. Foreign security principles. Contains all the security principle objects from the external trusted domains. Object identifiers. Each object will have a globally unique identifier. Security principles will have a security identifier as well. GUID. Globally unique identifier. It is unique across the entire forest. It does not change immaterial of the changes to other attributes. GUID is published in the global catalog. Makes it easier to locate an object in the entire forest. SID Security Identifier It is unique inside a domain. Will change every time an object moves. For example, an user could be moved to a different department or location. Only security principal objects will have an SID. Has the information about the permissions and authorizations that an user computer or a group has. Every time an object moves, it is assigned a new SID and the old SID is stored in the SID history attribute. SID is used in the access token that is given to every object during the logon process. 
the current SID plus the permissions in the SIDS and SID history will also be considered in allowing an object to access the network resources. If the object has been denied access to any object resource in any of the previous SIDS, the object will still be denied access to the object. Object Properties Each object in an Active Directory will have multiple properties or attributes which describe the object. Examples of object attributes are Name Address Department Member of Member Object ID Security ID Etc. Some of the attributes like the CN Canonial Name SID Security Identifier etc. are replicated among all the DCs in a domain and some of the attributes like GUID are replicated in the global catalog as well. Object properties can be broadly classified into base object properties, naming properties, security properties, address book properties, application specific properties which are specific to individual applications. Accessing an object. To access an object. An user must have access to the Active Directory domain, access to the Active Directory, access to the specific object. Object Permissions Permissions allow or deny access to an object. Permissions allow an user or object to carry out specific operations or actions on other objects. Some of the most common permissions are Full Control Access to an object and its child objects. Take ownership. Modify their permissions. Read. Read or view objects properties. Write. Can read an object's content and attributes but cannot change permissions or become the owner of the object. Create child objects. Delete child objects. Permissions can be set for objects individual objects directly. Objects can also get permissions indirectly in the following ways. Inheritance. Permissions can be inherited by the child objects from the parent objects. Group permissions. Objects can also get permissions by being part of a group. When an object is a member of a group, all the permissions and authorizations that are provided to the group also apply to the objects. In case of access permissions the least restrictive permissions apply. For example, if an object that has a read permission and inherits a write permission, the object will be able to both read and write. Whereas, in the case of deny permissions, the most restrictive permissions apply. For example, if an user has write permission and the group has a no access permission set, the no access permission will apply as it is the most restrictive. Object Ownership Ownership gives full control and access to an object over another object. For example, an user with a full control over another object can view, edit or delete an object's contents, properties and permissions that other objects have on the object. By default, the creator of an object is its owner. Ownership can be granted or taken by an user that has a take ownership right or is part of the domain admins group. Object Administration Administration of an object involves activities like creation, modification and deletion of objects, setting and editing the permissions for the objects, etc. Administration of an object can be delegated to another object for administrative ease. Organizational unit is the minimum level for which administrative authority can be delegated. With this brief introduction about Active Directory objects, we will proceed to know more about all the objects in the Active Directory individually and also know how to create and manage them in the next video. Manage Engine AD Manager Plus Thank you. For more details about Active Directory management and reporting, visit www.admanagerplus.com Email support at admanagerplus.com Toll free 1 9 2 5 9 2 4 9 5 0 0